Hello everyone and welcome back. We're here today on Aging is for Everyone. Again, speaking primarily about the, uh, the conference that's coming up in October. And there's all aspects of this. And with us today, we have Fred Schrock, who is the coordinator of education for Buffalo Tours. I, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with that insignia because Fred is in charge of multiple tours. And uh, is see that, that insignia is seen all over our city. So Fred, thank you so much for being here mm -hmm. with us Thanks today. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Fred, tell us what is Buffalo Tours? Uh, Buffalo Tours is actually part of Preservation Buffalo Niagara. Um, and we have an all-volunteer uh, group of people, probably about 100 volunteers at this point, uh, and they docent, they give tours all around the city and even throughout western New York at this point. Uh, so we have about 35 or 36 different tours throughout the year, and we offer them about 600 times. You said the magic word, docent. Mm. I get this all the time. I say, I'm a docent for Buffalo Tours, and they go, what does that mean? Yeah. What is a docent? Yeah, docent's more of a European term. Um, usually if you go to an old historic church in Europe or a very historic site, you'll have a docent show you around. And the European definition is someone who's actually college educated and just giving tours. Um, we're about as close as you can get to that in the United States. We do have a long training process. Um, what does the training involve and how long is it? Uh, the training process, this one is about 10 weeks um, every Saturday morning in the winter. Uh, and then there's practice tours after that. There's homework, there's an exam, um, lots of stuff. So it does take a little while. I speak personally, it does take a while. Yes, you were part of the class. <laughs> but, but it was thrilling. It was really very, very nice to do. Mm -hmm. um, people ask if, if docents get paid. Do docents get paid? No, these ones. No, nope. uh, we're an all-volunteer organization. Actually, I'm a staff member of Preservation Buffalo Niagara, but this, I'm the first person who's actually uh, been paid. Um, and I'm a coordinator. I'm not really a docent anymore. Right, right. But you, you fill in when a lot of docents can't. Yep. Yeah, I yep. know you do. I know you do. Yep. Um, just, just one more thing about the docents. How much time does that take from a, an individual's life? It, it really depends on the individual, actually. I mean, there's the training process. Everyone has to go through that. Uh, but um, how much you do after that is really up to you. We ask that you do a few a year, uh, mm -hmm. a few different tours. And the tours are about two hours um, each. Um, but some people, they do uh, almost a tour a week. Um, some people do maybe one or two tours a year. Um, it's really um, up to what they want to do, their availability, um, whether or not they're in town. Mm -hmm. you know. Great. Now tell me, how is Buffalo Tours going to be involved with this huge conference that's coming up? Uh, we're going to be involved in a pretty huge way since we're the host organization. Um, we don't run all the tours for the con conference. We, uh, we did set up a couple of them. So the big overview tour that a lot of people will be taking, the general overview of the city, we'll be doing that on a bus. Uh, we'll, we'll be doing that on um, uh, walking as well. Um, and then we have a couple other events, uh, kind of um, bookmarking or, or uh, uh, bookending uh, the, the actual conference. So we have some events that are actually open to the public, not just people taking the conference. Can you tell me a little bit of what those might be? Yeah, um, we do have a regular set of tours. We have the downtown walking tour. We have city hall tours um, every weekday. Um, but we also have a grain elevators tour that's planned for that week. We have um, a Prospect Hill tour that's a home tour that goes inside some of the homes near the Peace Bridge. Uh, we have, this is, my favorite one is the City of Light tour. Um, so if you've ever read the book City of Light by mm -hmm. Lauren Belfer, you know, it's mm -hmm. about the Buffalo area around right. the time of the, the exposition. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have a big tour for that coming up and it's a bus tour, but afterwards the author is actually going to be there and she's going to give a talk um, after the tour um, and that's open to the public as well. So there's going to be a big reception, and it's all going to be at the Buffalo Seminary, and they're very excited to have us. I hope that one gets a lot of publicity. Oh, yeah. Not that the rest of them, not that I don't want the rest of it, but that's, that's really nice because that book is just wonderful. Yeah. Everybody should read that book. And it's I the 110th anniversary of the Panem Exposition, so we're all really excited to, right. uh, to do that. I, I still find it interesting when I do the Queen City that everybody thinks the electric, the electric tower is fashioned after you know something from the exposition, mm -hmm. and and I hate to burst their bubble. Yeah, it's one so of those I rumors. Don't. Yes, yeah. right. Uh, Fred, tell us a little bit more, um, uh, either about the Buffalo tours that are that are offered normally, or anything else that you can think of that um, people might be involved in that our own people, our own docents, and that are involved in for the yeah. conference. Well, I would recommend that everyone find a copy of the brochure. 
Um, where can they get them? And then you can get that by calling us or even going online at buffalotours.org. And you can just request one. We'll mail one to you for free. There's no problem with that. And we even have the website that has basically the entire brochure online. So you can see the different schedules as to what's going on. We have something going on, actually something different going on every weekend for about six months. So. And what do the tours cost? Uh, most of the tours are 10 bucks. That's about it. So the price of a movie ticket, you can take a tour. Uh, students and kids, they're only $5. Um, there are special events like the City of Light Tour that we mentioned that are bigger. Um, but mostly it's, it's $10, and we have some free tours as well. And you have benefits to members. That's right. If you become a member of Preservation Buffalo Niagara, you do get coupons for free tours. Uh, you get discounts on things like the City of Light Tour. Um, so actually, if you become a member, a membership is $40, you can get $20 off the City of Light Tour, and you get $20 worth of free tours. So it's basically a free membership. Right. Do you get a lot of people join? Oh, yes. To get that benefit or that they're really... <laughs> they probably do it to get that benefit, right? Sometimes sure. they do, yes. Yeah, right. Now, what are you going to be doing during this conference? I'm what they call a session manager, so I will be on the bus for a number of the events, or I will be walking around with a number of people. Uh, but I'll be organizing a lot of other things, and there's a, a number of workshops and luncheons and things I have to attend as well. So they're going to keep me pretty busy. I don't know how much sleep I'll get, um, but it's going to be You're very, be very exciting. You're going to be too excited to sleep. Yes. 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 Those days and those days will go so fast. They're in and out, and yep. uh, just such an opportunity to have Buffalo, you know, just highlighted like this across the nation. It's got to be great. Yes. People and, around the country are talking about it. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's excellent. And, and it's going to be good business for Buffalo tours. I don't know if you can stand any more business for Buffalo tours. I think I can stand a little yeah, bit take more. Take a little business. bit sure. more. Sure. <laughs> always. Well, Fred, you know, is there anything else that you wanted to add as far as the, even either the involvement in the conference? or um, anything else about Buffalo Tours? Oh, gee. Well, some of the bigger events we have coming up, uh, I mentioned all the stuff going on with the conference, and some of those are actually taking place before the conference, if, uh, if people are interested in that. Uh, I think the biggest event coming up next is the search party. Uh, it's a scavenger hunt. Oh, fun. Yes, it's uh, September 17th, it's a Saturday. The search is at 2 o'clock, and the party is at 5 o'clock. So it's not just a scavenger hunt where you got to find things and do little um, things like that, but you also get a free dinner after that as well, yeah. and there's some prizes, and uh, that's going to be really cool. I, I learned last year that that group really likes, does like to party. Oh, yes. Yes, they like to have fun. That's great. And they, they had some really ingenious things that people had to find on the, on the uh, hunt. Mm -hmm. So, Fred, thank you again for being with us today. Um, I hope that everybody that's listening uh, will seek out one of the brochures about Buffalo Tours and take advantage of those even when the conference leaves Buffalo. And we will be back very shortly uh, to continue our program with some more information on the conference. Come